Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to be working on a new problem as part of Go Math's 2015 Teacher Workshop series. It's number 48 on the CSET Multi Subject Math and Science Teacher Certification Exam in California. This is a nice problem. It's going to involve a unit conversion and it's also a, a, a word problem, sort of a unit conversion, number sense word problem. So we'll start by reading it over. As I read it over, I want you to sort of visualize the scenario. Um, you can pause the video at any time, read it to yourself, but really visualize the scenario so that we, we can organize the information and sort of uh, organize the math behind the problem. Okay, let's start by reading it over. Number 48. The scale on a map is 1 inch equals 15 miles. On the same map, the distance between Belmont and Smithville is 13 inches. Which of the following is the best estimate of how long it will take to drive from Belmont to Smithville at an average speed of 60 miles per hour? All right, now read it over to yourself. Read it over and, and maybe you want to get a, a visualization. We're at Bel on the map, there's Belmont and there's this Smithville and we're going here. And we're going here at, a, I don't know what the distance is, but we're, we're driving at around uh, 60 miles per hour. So our car, let's imagine this car here. I don't know what kind of, that's a Ferrari. That's my Ferrari. <laughs> that's not a Ferrari. This is my Toyota. Anyways, we're going 60 miles per hour. 60 miles per hour. Well, what would be nice to add on this? It'd be nice to know the distance, right? Because I, uh, I have a formula, distance equals rate times time. And if I wanted to uh, fi just ice find time, well, ta I would divide by the rate here, and I get whatever the distance is divided by the rate gets me the time it's going to take. So I know that I'm going 60 miles per hour. So that part of the equation I, I kind of already know. But I don't know the distance. All right, so I'm going to have to find out the distance. Once I find out the distance, I divide it by 60, and that gets me the time it's going to take. Now, this model drawing and this process has gotten me, um, it's sort of clarified what I need to do in order to solve the problem. Because the problem's asking you for the best estimate for how long it's going to take, the time. It's asking me to solve for time. So I made the drawing, sort of th worked out some of the information I know, kind of uh, worked through a formula that I remember, distance equals rate times time, sort of worked it out so I sol I'm solving for time, then translated what I know into something I can, I can work out and find. This is very important that you're able to do this. Now I know I'm, that the, one of the steps I have to do is find out the distance between these two towns. So let's do that now. This is where the unit conversion element is going to come into play. We know that we one inch is equal to 15 miles. So I'll do 15 miles for every one inch. And then we're also told that between these two towns it's 13 inches. So I'm going to, I have 13 inches. I'll just do 13 over 1. Well this right here if every mile is equal, if every inch is equal to 15 miles, and I got 13 inches, I could do some multiplication, um, cross out the inches here, and I do 15 times 13. That would get me the number of miles. That would get me my total distance. Now I don't know what 15 times 13 is, so I'm just gonna be very careful in my calculations so I don't make any careless mistakes. Three times five is 15. You should be doing this on your own too. Do it on your own right now. Okay, keep on going. 3 times 1 is 3 plus a 1 is 4. 1 times 5, uh, drop down to 0. 1 times 5 is uh, 5. 1 times 1 is 1. We got, what is that, 195 miles. So this is our total distance. And remember, it's distance divided by our rate. So 
and our rate is 60 miles per hour. All right, so what is 195 divided by 60? How long is that? Well, I could break this up into two fractions, this plus this, with a denominator of 60. This first one is going to conveniently round to a whole number. Like this 195, I'm going to make 120. Now, um, this would, 120 minutes divided by 60 minutes would get me two hours. Does everyone agree? So this first fraction has to, has to be reduced to a whole number. Now, what would I add to 120 to get to 95? Eh, maybe you don't know. So, so just really carefully subtract them. I mean, don't make a careless mistake. Oh, I know this. Oh, wait, I think I made a mistake. I did make a mistake. But then I'm keeping it in the video. You've got to learn from these mistakes. This would be 5, this would be 75, and, and guess what? That's greater than an hour. So I can go back here, and I can be like, wait a second. Let's make this 180. Now 180, where everyone's learning from this mistake, 180 is 3 hours. Now what would you add to 180 to get to 90, 195? You'd add 15 minutes. So 180 over 60 plus 15 over 60 gets you 195 over 60, or 3 hours and 15 minutes. The answer is C. Now look, when I was doing this problem out, I made a mistake in my calculations. That's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. As long as when you're working through the math, you catch the mistake. And you have some sort of way of talking yourself through the problem, just like I did, as I was talking to you, I'm talking to myself, and I caught the mistake, and I realized that I could make this fraction larger so that it, it, went up, it, it got uh, reduced to three hours, and I had a remainder of something less than uh, 60 minutes. Okay, team, this is a cool problem. Try it on your own. See if you can, with confidence, you know, work through the math and do all this nuts and bolts calculations to get to C. Three hours and 15 minutes. This is Chris Abram from GoMath. Have a great day, team. Bye-bye.